guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are creating this really beautiful smoky halo eye. It's a very golden look and it's more intense than what I planned for, but that's all good. So it looks gorgeous anyway. So if you like this look, then keep on watching and we'll get straight into it. So I've already gone in with the nourishing face oil with vitamin E. This is just from Kmart actually. And I've been using it at night time with the only good night cream. And I just used that today because I want a really glowy look. So I'm with my Glow Labs Facial Moisturizer. And just moisturize my face and my neck and my chest. So I've run out of primer annoying but I need to go pick one, a new one up so if you have any suggestions put a good one down below um, but I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter in Unicorn Elixir I really want to get the golden one of this some really nice golden one and I'm just putting little drops of that on my face this stuff is like insanely pigmented and I'm just gonna rub it in with my fingers Just all over. My hands are like so shimmery. I don't know if you can see that or not. That stuff's like insane. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 120 Ivory. Classic Ivory or whatever you want to call it. And I'm probably gonna take quite a bit of this because I'm going to use this all over my face. And because I'm so so pale naturally like on my neck and chest, I'll use it down there too. to concealer I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I actually really like this and I love the applicator. applicator. I think I'm gonna to have to get a new one soon. I can't see how much I've got left. And I'm just taking this to kind of highlight under our eyes in a triangle and up to our nose here because I think I'm gonna do a little bit of the contour there. On my forehead, I like to do it there because I have like a real bad, I don't know, there's like a big indent on top of my lips and just there and there. And that's all I'm going to highlight today. So to blend that up, I'm just going to use my sponge again. I think I'm going to do this look as like a either like 0 to 100, like, you know, bad to good kind of thing, or like, maybe a catfish video. Because this is like going to be real nice and glowy and dewy and stuff, but I don't know, I just love watching those videos myself personally, so. On my nose, I kind of just like to take it straight up, because I don't want the... Um, product to shift around too much. Now I'm actually going to take my concealer brush and this is all rubbed off but it's the Astralis Highlight and Contour Kit and I've had this for ages and I've used all of that one because I used to love that colour. Oh god. But today I think I'm going to mix this one here and maybe a little bit of this one and I'm going to use them just to give myself a bit of a nice warm bronze. I'm going to put a bit up here a bit more of that real dark one. So it's kind of like minimal but it's kind of not. I just really like using cream products like especially in the winter time because my skin dries out real bad. So. Plus it just gives a really nice look. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that on the tip of it and just go down my nose. And this might be we have to use a bit more concealer after, but 
my issue is right here I have like a really round nose on the end so I like to contour just straight down but I'm like pretty thin go back into your eye socket and I like to make my nose a bit longer so I go down the bottom very bottom there some people if they want to make their nose look shorter you will stop it there or if you want to make it look buttony you can put a little line there but I already have a round enough nose so it's a little buffing brush and I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix setting spray on it just on the tip of it so that it'll help us keep this product good and blend it out we want to blend it out, but we don't want to blend it fully away. I love using like cream contours and stuff when I have a tan, like definitely so nice. But this almost just gives like the illusion of a tan. So I'm just blending that. And with this one, you don't want to bring it, like where the line is, that's as far up as you want to blend it. You kind of want to blend it across and down. So then that pops and that dilutes. And then you don't look like your beard. And like, I love this product. Like I've had this product for so long and it stays creamy like forever. So now for the eyes, I'm just gonna actually buff it in there slightly first. I'm gonna take this little brush. It's kind of just a little, like a big, blend brush almost and I'm just gonna use that to soften out this line like I do kind of wish this contour shade was really like ashy and stuff but it is a bit warm but it's all right we make it work it just makes us look like we've been on a beach and I'm gonna go back with my sponge and use whatever's left on there just to Lightly go over that nose. I'm going to use the Astralis Banana Powder and I'm just going to take that on my what do you call it, brush, my highlighting brush, and I'm just going to do that right under the eyes. I guess I like to sit here on top of my lip, but just with the excess because I don't like to be fully matte or anything like that and that just helps brighten up like my Maybelline City Bronzer in Medium Cool and I'm just going to use this on this weird kind of like tapered brush and I'm using that kind of bronze but just more to contour actually and set that cream product so although I'm like moving across, I'm actually hardly touching it because I don't want to blend on top and move all that product around. So if you pat it on first, that does help and then just pat and blend. So. So I'm going to take a wee bit of that shade just on the edge, tap it off, and take it down my nose, just right on that front bit because that is the bit of my nose. And then I have a blush, I'm going to go in with the Naughty Nude Revlon Satin Blush. Go in, tap it off, don't blow on your brushes, if you blow on your brushes that's disgusting. And then just... I like to bounce that on the apple. Cross your nose, cause like, you know, your skin naturally has pink tones everywhere. Or with discoloration or whatever. And now for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Milani, my favorite, the Strobe Light and Summer Glow. And I'm just gonna take this little brush we used earlier and like rub that in there eh? <laughs> and then I'm just going to hit the top like the highest points of my face just lightly dusting go down my nose a little bit on the tip yeah 
I like to go up here because you know this is a really summery look almost even though it's winter <laughs> now I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and then we'll come back for the eyes so now that I've done my brows I'm going to take some concealer on a concealer brush just the same one as before and I'm just gonna carve them out but I'm also gonna use this to prime my lids as well And I'm only carving out the underside because I feel that's where I like them sleek and then they can be buffy on top. And to set our lids, I'm just going to use the Australis banana powder and just coat that like really thick because I get real oily lids like because they're hooded as well so things transfer if it's not set right in the first place now this isn't the palette that I was going to use but I couldn't find the other one so I'm just going to go in with the Soph X palette like we used the other day and yeah so the first shade I'm going to go into is this one here this cheesecake shade and I'm just going to stamp that and pack that colour right in the outer corner and up in our crease these shadows have like no fallout so for what I'm doing today I'm more than happy to do it with um, my face already on I'm just building this colour up and it doesn't need to be blended at this stage and I'm gonna do like a halo eye, I think. So I'm gonna put that on the inner corner as well. The inner and outer. Now I'm just gonna go in with this little, I don't know, flat fluffy brush. Fluffy brush. And I'm just going to smooth out these edges. Just blend them out a wee bit. Oh no, this had shimmer on it, whoops. We'll just like spot clean that. <laughs> It looked clean. Oh well, we've got a little bit of shimmer in our crease now that happens. I'm just using it to diffuse that line a wee bit. Um, Cocky Joe shade beside the cheesecake. And on a big fluffy brush, I'm actually going to use that to continue to help blend this out. I honestly love the formula of these shades. They're like so bloody nice. And they just blend. Now on this little brush, I'm gonna take the shade Reputation, which is like that navy blue color. It's almost like black. And I'm just gonna pat a wee bit of this in the outer corner and just up into the crease so that we can blend it all in. And on the inner corner, doing the same. So this look has so changed. I thought I was going to do like an everyday glam look, but this is coming on like full glam. And I apologise if you can hear the vacuum cleaner. Mum is luxing. Mm. Just so annoying, but that's life. Now I'm going to go back in with that little fluffy brush and just blend out the edges. And if you need to, go back into that cheesecake colour a wee bit just to help blend that all in. I'm actually packing a wee bit of the cheesecake over top just to help with a wee bit of a blend. It looks messy right now. Like on this outer part, we'll fix that later. So I'm just going back in and blending this inner corner bit. Because I don't want that black going too far in the inner corner. And I haven't put any of that dark shade in the center because I'm just going to leave that clear and just blend back and forward between the two. And now I'm going to put that cheesecake color just, just there, like right as we go towards the middle. So now right on the center, I'm going to take the shade Dreams, this really beautiful bronze shade. And I'm just going to take that on my finger. And I'm going to pat that 
focus on the center so we've got that halo. Oh yeah, I like that. But I'm gonna go up into the crease a wee bit too. So it's definitely like a halo spotlight eye. So I've just spot cleaned that to get all that dark shade off and I'm just gonna take a wee bit of the cheesecake one from before. Just blend that into the edges. Now I'm going to take my little makeup wipe and I'm just going to wipe away the edge a wee bit so it's nice and crisp. And I'm, and I'm just going to go back in with a wee bit of the concealer. Oh my god, I just broke it. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna use what's left. Just do it all for me. Maybe that's how I broke it. <laughs> so because I ran out of the other concealer, I'm just gonna use what's left of this Cover Girl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. I don't really like this one though. It's just a wind up. It just doesn't have a lot of coverage, but I'm actually gonna go right over that powder. I know I shouldn't, but too bad. You know what? That actually worked really good over powder. That is so weird. I never actually liked that concealer because I didn't feel like it was like coverage enough. But that coming up so pretty over powder and really yellow based actually. They came out really nice over powder. I'm actually like so shocked. I'm going to take the shade Cookie Dough. And I'm going to take that and run it right to the inner corner pretty much. I'm going to take that little brush and just take a little bit of the cheesecake colour. And just blend that in the outer corner. And blend a wee bit in the inner corner as well. Leaving that center open and I'm just going to kind of blend that a wee bit more, blow it out a bit. I'm going to take the color Dreams and basically we're just mimicking the top on the bottom and we're just going to put that like right, right in that center. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter and I'm just going to use that to highlight the inner corner. That same brush, I just wiped it off. So I just want like a wee inner corner highlight. And ooh, let's do the brow bone as well. So now for lashes, I'm going to go in and curl my lashes and use the L'Oreal um, Volume Millions Lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with these lashes from the Luxie Boutique New Zealand. So they just look like that. And they're not too full, but I really like these ones. I can't remember what these ones are called, like the name of them. But oh well. Um, I think I might do one stripe of eyeliner just across, but I'm not gonna wing it or anything like that, just so that I have somewhere to put the band in my lashes. And I will be back after I'm back with their lashes and everything on. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Lip Liner in Rain on my lips. And then I'm going to use the Melting Pout CoverGirl 105. I'm just taking a wee bit of that melting pout and I'm gonna just pat it in with my finger. And then I'm actually gonna go over it with my sponge. So this is the end result. It is very sultry, smoky and just golden and beautiful. I'm really loving these golden tones across the lids. 
it's really beautiful um please like subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell share with all your wig friends if you'd like because it'd be awesome just to get my videos out to more people so thank you all for watching